You know what I hate, guys? Lots of stuff, all right? As you can tell by my angry tongue flick that I did, that also is genetic and runs in my family. You know what's genetic and runs in the family? People being fucking dumb as shit. El Chapo. El Chapo. Today we're talking about a couple of kick streamers, a couple of my favorites, my favorites of all time, guys. Hello. My name's Omar. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? I've been holding back on these guys a little bit over the last few weeks. Trying out some new content. I'm back. I'm done with that. I'm gonna be mad now. Kick is slowly and consistently turning into a breeding ground of just terrible people. And another asshole, horrible person has sprouted. His name is just Snags. I don't know what his real name is. And honestly, I don't fucking care. Okay? I call him Chomo1. That's what I call it. We already knew Kick sucked, by the way. It seems like things always get worse and they never get better. Is it just me or is that also something you guys feel? What happened to you packing yourself, Little Tay? I don't even know you. All I heard was Little Tay die. I got so happy. I rolled up. I'm saying, smoking Tay. Smoking Little Tay. Oh my God, Tay, I'm that hot. What's up, f***ers? Got some stains on my shirt today. Sour Boys restock every Friday and sometimes Saturday, depending on if Tara wakes up before or after 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Sometimes she sleeps a lot. My favorite flavor is Love Bomb. What's your favorite flavor, Michael? My favorite flavor is Love Bomb as well. To be honest with you, Love Bomb is the best flavor that we have. It is cherry and mango. It will make you fall in love with your significant other. Uh, uh, Stand to the side. Yeah, sorry. Um, it will make you fall in love with your significant other. Buy Sour Boys, support sour.gg. Buy the merch, there's new merch. It's fucking sick. We don't have any yet because it's brand brand new. Buy the stickers, buy the candy. It will literally sell out in minutes. How about that? How about this? And then that, and then this, and then that. Do, do you want me to, do you want me to stop recording or? Sure. Kick has been growing, Twitch has been shrinking, and there's always more room for new idiots to have the spotlight shined upon them. Just Snags is the first person we're talking about today. You've probably seen some of his great work, such as this clip. Just like Snags is massive death, like, oh my God, Just like Snags just killed 30 people, he just shot up a parade, like. Wow, what a funny, what a funny, happy-go-lucky guy. Or this clip. I might take my security's gun off his hip and just shoot somebody. First I see. I don't care if he's 7, 8, 10. I don't care if he's 30, 40, 60. I'm clapping in broad daylight. Wow, what a funny, happy-go-lucky guy. I found out about Just Snags a couple months ago, maybe two months ago. Not exactly sure. He's a pretty small streamer, pretty small presence online. But uh, he made some content in which he decided to hop on the Monkey app, which is like an app Omegle, Omegle thing. I don't... Does anyone even use Omegle anymore? I hate Omegle. Oh my goodness. In the name of Jesus, you need to be saved. It, it sucks my soul whenever, whenever I see people using that. I just don't like that app. I mean, it's cool. I've met some cool people on there, but at the same time, it's just, it's a bad app. It shouldn't exist. Monkey apps, just like Omegle, you get a stranger to talk to and you can add more time to a conversation if you enjoy talking to them if not you just skip it's a it's it makes sense it's a human a very human app hey what up thug it makes for good interesting conversation just like omega for just snags good interesting conversation he decided to hit on a couple of 14 year olds children that's right it's just just snags is a chomo chomo alert Chomo alert. Just Snags is a chomo. Yes. Fourteen. Fourteen. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that what grade is that? Like a sophomore? Eighth grade. Sophomore. Eighth grade. Sophomore. Can I play with that? Sophomore's little... like sixteen. What? Can I play with that little eighth grade? <laughs> I genuinely cannot imagine or fathom someone saying that as a joke because he think he says it was a joke. He thinks it's funny. It's just disgusting. It's ridiculous. I'm all for making fucked up jokes, by the way. Like you guys don't. I I'm a commentary channel. I'm the I'm bitchy, I'm moany. I bitch and I moan. But at the same time, dude, I really don't care that much about stuff. And like that is fucking dumb. That's not a good joke. That's not a good joke. That's not even dark. That's not dark humor. Yeah, that's a real person saying that to be funny in front of a bunch of people for content. Amazing. Thank you, Kicks. Thank you, Kicks. And also, thank you, Just Snags, for the lip licking and smile at the end. 
<laughs> a f cherry on top for content there, Chumley. Very good stuff. I mean, I'm pretty funny. Who the f what? Do you guys watch it? Does anyone watch any kick streamers, by the way? Is that, is that a real platform that actually exists or does it just exist to be criticized by others? <laughs> and then after this, he got called out by a lot of people. It was disgusting. It was bad. You can find a bunch of stuff on Twitter. We'll have a bunch of stuff on the screen. His response to this was to just blame it on the AI and say that he's, he's, it's not actually him. It's AI which is, I guess he's being facetious. I think he's joking. It's really hard to tell the intent or tone or connotation or nuance of someone who's talking who falls below the 70, the level of 75 on the, the, the intellectual quotient scale. You know, the morons, the idiots, the imbeciles, whatever order they are, I think he might be in the imbecile level. He's not a full on idiot, but I think he's in the imbecile level. I need to see what that is. So an idiot is someone who scores below 25. I don't think he's an idiot, to be fair. An imbecile is 25 to 50. I don't think he's an imbecile. I think he's a moron. Like, truly in the 50 to 70, say he could still maybe get in the army. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He, he'd get in the Marine Corps. And we most definitely regret the Corps just blew up our raggedy ass fleet. Hoorah! Here's his other response. They're literally still a AI video of me going around on this monkey app. It a video of me, then it turned into this gay S tape. Y'all do anything for this position? It's sad. I don't condone S like this. Leave me alone. Y'all thought I was lying. It's 2024, not 1900s. That's an awesome hill to die on, bro. It's, it's not deepfake, by the way. It's not AI. It's not deepfake. Nobody cares about just snags to the point where they're going to be AI deepfaking stuff. No one needs to destroy his career through clandestine operations. He will do it on his own. Okay, so he's wearing this hat thing. Isn't this to get... Isn't this for, like, people with a lot of hair? and they want to like retain moisture in their hair. People with very curly hair wear that, like a lot of really curly. Why is he wearing that if he looks like this? He looks like a 45 year old man. How old is this guy? I don't even know what his, I don't know what his name is. I don't know what his age is. I don't give a f I just like talking about him on this guy. This is insane. You know, no hate to balding dudes, but just shave it off, man. You don't have to wear the, the hat w that people wear when they have a lot of hair. You wouldn't believe how fat and bald he is. I mean, when he's in the restrooms, people are using the back of his head to check their hair. Anyways, this corny motherfucker decided to continue saying really stupid shit online. Literally anything for content. He eventually made fun of the Mexican cartel. F the whole cartel. Suck my And I'm going to Mexico next week. What? Man? What you want to do? Repeatedly. For a long time. And really drug it out. I'm every Mexican shot. F El Chapo. F El Chapo. Try to imagine how you think Just Snags would, while making a joke, call out the cartel, talk about El Chapo, and what do you think he would say? How do you think he would say it online? Obviously, just for just for clout and clicks, he's not actually trying to incite violence or anything like that from the Mexican cartel, which I do not condone, by the way. I do not condone the Mexican cartel or anything or whatever YouTube rules or whatever. The now. Imagine what Just Snacks is about to say, and then watch this. I go to Cabo. Nothing's going to happen to me. Face out. I would say F old Chapo to a fucking random in Mexico. Get that on your clip. I will piss all over that shit. F Mexico, I, I will piss all over y'all land. Oh, wow, guys. I didn't see that coming. That's, that's kind of bold. That's kind of bold. That's a bold move. He also doubles down, says he's going to help build a wall. He says F L Chapo multiple times. Then nothing is going to happen to me. And I don't even know. Donald Trump and me are locked in. Joe Biden and me locked in. I guess any of you niggas, we're about to build a wall soon. I guess you niggas gonna jump the fucking wall. I'm every Mexican shot. F L Chapo. When in reality, things have happened to YouTubers before for messing with the cartels. 17 year old Juan Luis Lagunas Rosales was shot 18 times in a bar after posting a video of him talking badly about one of the most dangerous drug lords in Mexico. As you can probably imagine, he eventually found out and was told by some probably pretty reliable sources that what he did was a really bad idea. And you don't just publicly shame the cartel and then double down and say you're gonna hurt them, etc., etc., etc especially when they've done nothing to you. I mean, it's just a weird thing to call out. He posted a, an apology video to his Twitter, quite literally apologizing to the cartel. The first cartel apology I've ever seen 
from a content creator. Well, uh, the real cartel, I would never disrespect. You know, El Chapa, I know how your man's gets. You know, I know how the cartel gets. They're ruthless, you know, all masked up. They will slice me like, you know what I'm saying? Some some salami at the, uh, you know, like cold cuts. You know what I'm saying? They, they will turn me the cold cuts. You know, I, I'm shaking in my voice just imagining how you guys would yoke my little bitch ass up and just like slice me up with no, and give no, I'm saying like I, I I don't want y'all to you know do nothing to me or my family you know I'm a bitch you know I, I just want to apologize you know to all the Mexican people I love Mexican he was scared I assume he was threatened by someone in chat and you know I wish him that I wish him the best okay he turned it around I'm sure they'll forgive him completely after everything he just said and by God I hope they do I even made sure that everyone knew that I wanted him to be safe so the point is just snags absolute menace he was banned off kick apparently for saying the word like Hassan, the reason he was banned off Twitch. Although, this is not the reason. But I can say the hard ER all day. As soon as I say cracker, yo, Eddie, I ain't gonna lie, Eddie. Now I'm gonna come for you, Eddie. Suck my, Eddie. If you don't wanna ban me, in the next week, I'm on time with you. Eddie, suck my, bro. Cause there's no way. I say on there all the time, never got banned. But I say it's a problem. Like, I, I don't understand that, bro. He, he seems to actually believe that the reason he was banned was because he said the word cracker, but it, it's probably because of what he said in regard to Lil Tay, the 14 year old girl. You know her? Money, money, money. It was probably the essual and violent threats that he made to her, probably. Bit of a feud. Lil Tay, like us, didn't really like Just Snag's behavior on the monkey app. Uh, he was making fun of a deaf girl. Stop speaking sign oh, language. Hi. Oh, that's solid. You deaf? I am actually deaf. No, you not, cause so, no, you do not, bro. Don't be with. Oh shit, my I'm going to have. I'm going to have. Yeah, they going. She didn't like that, and that started a feud, guys. It caused just snags to say this. Fuck that little white. I see that little. I'm a. I'm a step. I'm a break us. She's my. You wanna get some album promos or that? What happened to you packing yourself, little Tay? I don't even know you. You guys can tell why he got banned. This guy is so worthless. It is insane that he has a platform and this is just a temporary ban. I mean, this is actually fucking insane. It's a 14 year old. Interesting. And this is another reason why he was Which banned. Tunnel? By I the want way. you to take the tunnel entry. You know, take the tunnel entry, little Tay. Come to uh, SB Island. What's, what's, what's what? Epstein Island? Come to SB Island, uh, little Tay. He is genuinely, genuinely a bad person and should not be allowed online like this is this goes beyond this is this is terrible you can't just say you can't just say shit about like small children repeatedly this is insane i don't like him i think he should be banned permanently and i think that we should let kick know that he should be banned permanently forever and never be unbanned because that is disgusting anyways guys <laughs> All my homies hate just snags. He fucking sucks. I know. Trust me, I you know. You gonna get arrested for recording? No, you're getting arrested for disruption. Who, me? Shit. Just in case you wanted to see him get into a fight, he's gonna have a fight. Somehow Aiden Ross is involved in this. You you want to it's gotta happen tomorrow, chat. It's gotta happen tomorrow. You should have died. You should have committed suicide. You should have committed suicide. If, dude, if I was Aiden Ross, I wouldn't want to be associated with this guy in any way because like aiden is just a dweeb he's just kind of like a dork but he's done some positive stuff overall this guy has done nothing ever good with his life ever not even one time and he's also bald oh my god look at him he looks like a skinwalker wow why is he built like that is he like 60 years old is he unk? He is not even 26 years old. I am in disbelief. Yo, y'all know what's up. It's that just that snag. Mr. Do anything to go viral. Mr. Really see red. Mr. Really talk to the dead. Go viral any moment. Suck my double for anybody. He believes in himself, guys. And that's all that really matters. It's crazy that this guy has supporters too, by the way, online. He, he has some supporters and it makes sense to an extent, but like after, after you do the, like the little Tate, I mean, who the f knows? I just think, I mean, that's weird, dude. That's weird. That's really weird. That's really weird. I just don't understand. I guess children watch or something. Children watch. Don't they know they're in danger? He, he's like a danger to them, like literally. And not just to them, but also just normal people as well. <laughs> Judging by this clip. Yo, my next viral clip, I'm gonna be on Fox 5, Channel News, like just like snatches.
massive death. Like, oh my God, Six Nights just killed 30 people. He just shot up a parade. Like, I swear I'm going to make the... I swear, my goal 2024 is... Word. This guy is one of the worst human beings. I mean, like, seriously, guys. Do you see what I'm saying here? Why is he around? Why does he... Why is this a temporary ban? Put him in a prison cell. Like, isn't this... Isn't that enough? FBI? Isn't that enough? I mean, come on. The people supporting this guy genuinely have to be mentally ill. I have no idea what the f*** is going on. Maybe... Maybe lower than morons. Maybe even down to imbeciles. Idiots. Maybe even idiots. He loves making fun of dead rappers as well, such as Juice World and King Von. It's time to go back to working at Burger King, Paul. By the way, Just Snags isn't the only fellow who's making content from the Omegle-adjacent website sites like Monkey and Ohm TV, there are more people doing worse than what Just Snags does, believe it or not. Luckily, these people have been banned. So, you've probably seen Daryl. Uh, hey, what's up? How are you? It's you! Oh my god, I know you! I know you! I know you! I know you! Stop! I know you! It's that dude from TikTok! You, I'm a big fan! The personality behind the Something About Chickens YouTube channel. Go watch his video, by the way, if you haven't yet. I'll just give you an incredibly brief summary and talk about the guy who he made a video about. By the way, Daryl makes Omegle videos, Ohm TV since Omegle shut down. What's up? Yo, what's good? Hey, can I show you guys a meta trick? Yeah. Alright, so pick a number between... Actually... No, forget about it. It's fine. Okay. Let's go through and like, find the card. Hey, what's up? Yo, are you by, by any chance? Hey, you still want to see that magic trick? <laughs> oh, oh, what the f <laughs> He's only uploaded one commentary style video, and it is about a fellow by the name of Riot Lol, a Twitch streamer who would try to riz up women on Omega like sites. This is Riot LOL. Omar is his real name. He's a 20-year-old kick streamer, TikToker, Twitter slash X user, whatever you want to call it. And here's him about to get a girl that's clearly, let's say, not of age to expose herself live on his stream. Now, Daryl has a vested interest in the behavior around content and making content on Omega and sites like it because that's what he does and he makes good content. He actually makes funny content. There's a lot of creators who have made good funny content around Omegle and similar sites. It doesn't automatically mean it's bad content. But people like Just Snags and Riot are perfect examples of why these websites are highly scrutinized now and they are the topic of much ethical debate. In Daryl, aka something about Chicken's video, he calls out Riot saying that, you know, even though he comes off as a weird narcissistic creep, it gets so much worse the deeper you look into it the deeper that he looked into it he did all the work so go watch his video when you first enter riot in a bunch of these kick creators live streams you get a warning saying you must be 18 or older to view this content keep that in the back of your mind going forward for the rest of this video fair warning this is going to get very serious very quickly and i definitely understand if you want to sit this one out if you want to see the full video please click it it's in the description down below i hope Hopefully, someone put it in there. I have no idea. I'm probably in some kind of design meeting when this goes up, and I have no, I have, I have no, I take no responsibility for anything that goes wrong. Essentially, it boils down to this Riot, aka Omar, would exclusively use Ohm TV to try and talk to women and calling them T I T S. That's what he would call women. And after going through dozens of his VODs, you start to notice a pattern. Hey. Hello, my name's Omar. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, Hi, Omar. Nice to meet you. Tits. Where are you from? Tits. Hello, tits. Oh, my. Tits. Hello, tits. my name's Omar. Nice to meet you. Tits. And then he would recycle pickup lines over and over and over again. That was his content. All right, let me tell you uh, where I'll take you on a date. Let me know if it hits. All right, uh, I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. So I'll pick you up and then we'll get some. We we'll get some sushi. Uh, we get some sushi. We get sushi. We we'll get sushi. All right, and then I don't, I don't really fuck with like boring dates. You know what I'm saying? They gotta be like fun, right? Not awkward, not corny. I don't like the boring dates, you know, where it just feels like unorganic and it's just like cringy and awkward. So I like to do something to break the ice. Oh, probably like a carnival. 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 A carnival. Okay. So like play some games, ride some rides. You ride me, and then um, and then like I'll win you a cute bear. He would build up his Snapchat roster. Like it's some kind of epic collection or notch on his belt. Truly a narcissmoid. Tries to quote unquote riz up these girls by saying the same lines over and over again just so that he can eventually get their Snapchats. So that he can build up his Snapchat roster. Dude, my roster is actually nice. No, 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 no. And that's it. 
That's his content. He would post inwards of these girls in his Discord server. So he would, he had an actual, I'm like, I, like this is, this is uh, insane. He goes on Omegle just to get girls to expose themselves so that he can secretly screen record it and post it onto a Discord server under an NSFW channel. That is his content. He's a criminal. He's a criminal. He distributed bad content to his subscribers that he would screen record himself to get more subs, subscribers only, to make money off of this. One example of abhorrent behavior that Daryl covers is when a woman is revealing some personal information about her abusive ex, talking about how she was drugged on that night, and then Riot asks to see her TITS, or for her to stand up so he can see her body. Then he takes his shirt off and he's doing this all... Man, he's making content out of this. What the f is wrong with these people? Did there are pit like what? All right, dude, listen. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I can't do this anymore, bro. The curiosity is just in like it's like spinning in the back of my head. It's killing me. Like, dude, listen. Let's let's go. Fit check. Come on. So, uh, you know, I'm shirtless. Your shirt is on. This is a really tough situation, you know. He proceeds to cover the screen. She get on the same page here, you know. Can I see your <laughs> like? <laughs> Why am I doing that? Because I'm f***ing high that I'm doing that, but it's so f***ing embarrassing. Like, uh, set it up. I'm so what? Let me see. Damn. Holy <laughs> shit. I mean, you said you had a fat ass, right? I mean, like, at this point, can I, like, you know... Can I see it? And then the audio goes silent for a few minutes. And then he comes back and does this. Bam tap on the beat. Bang! I'm the GOAT! Join the Discord, boys. I wish there was a way I could, like, cut out my version, because, like, I'm not gonna lie, chat. Oh, God, I was about to risk it all. I, I get done around here, boys. Is that fire? I'm not gonna lie, that was the baddest girl I've ever bagged. Daryl just points out how disgusting this man is and how disgusting his audience is, by the way. By extension of him. People who are enjoying his content and accessing his Discord and breaking the law with him, by the way. To be clear, that woman there is of age, so... Daryl provides some examples of Ryan doing this to underage girls as well. But if you want to see that, you can watch his video. It's great. It's much better than my videos. Daryl also asked the question of, well, where are the kick moderation team? Why aren't they doing anything to stop this? This clearly should be against TOS if it's not already. Where is kick staff members to moderate their site and ban him instantly? Well, luckily there are kick staff members. But Riot is friends with them. Bro, has kick on his side. Oh, God, I got Andre on my side. Hey, Andre, are you still in the chat? I have a question. All right, Andre, if I had six on stream, would I get banned? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Our goal is to keep everyone safe. I agree, man. Chat. Now read the first letter of every word. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Well, they're in his chat. And in, it's awesome. He asks a minor to shake their ass for the kick staff member in chat. Riot is so good with them that he's comfortable doing his brand of humor directly to their face in chat. I'm always on my best behavior, Andre. Don't worry. Oh, I remember you. Hey, Andre's in my chat. Can you shake ass? What? Andre said no. he's me. Shake some ass, bitch. Quote, word for word. Isn't this chick 15, dude? See, like I Yo, Andre, <laughs> really? She's 15. Andre, she's 15. No. What the f***? Daryl was eventually able to strike true heart in the fear of this f***ing idiot guy, Riot, here. During a Riot stream where this happened, Daryl was on the website trying to find Riot to confront him and question him. I tried to connect with him on the original Meagle, and this happened. Really, dude. No f***ing way, bro. Now that I got your attention, can I ask you a few questions, man? Yeah, sure. I know that girl, by the way. I saw her before, but yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, man. How, how are you doing? How's the kick streams doing? Oh, what the f***? Yeah, that's kick streams done. So before I could even get to my main question, he skipped me. Daryl actually found the girl that Riot was messing with and explained everything that Riot had done. But do you remember that girl from earlier? The girl who said that she was drugged at a party and Riot still got her to expose herself? Well, I managed to find her on Omegle minutes after her interaction with Riot. And I told her everything about him in his stream. She eventually matched with Riot again, called him a psychopath. He skipped her. Why are you still on here? <laughs> okay, first of all, like, I'm not f***ing dumb. What do you mean? I'm not dumb. You know, I was watching your f***ing live, bitch. What? How'd you find my live? <laughs> I found your live. Wait, you how though? 
Oh, you, do you like know. it? Are the shoes fire or no? I just want to acknowledge how dumb of a question this is. You just got a girl to unknowingly expose herself in front of a live stream and then have her body put onto a Discord server. How do you think she's going to react? Are the shoes fire or no? Mid, good, shit. You fucking are a psychopath. Oh, that for real? Yeah, and you shouldn't be doing that. Then while Riot is trying to find out how she knew that he was alive, Daryl and Riot match again. Riot skips him this time though. And in the craziest display of luck and perfect timing, as he's still in this state of confusion, guess who connects with him again? Yo, man. He closes the site and defeat goes to Fortnite like any classic pedo might do and he realizes who Daryl is and he realizes how f***ed he is. He finally connected the dots and because of that, he proceeds to close Omegle, listen to his Spotify playlist and plays Fortnite. But during that entire time he's playing Fortnite, he's texting his people. Hey chat, what's that YouTuber's app? The guy that you guys kept saying, you know, I kept skipping him? What's his app? Something about chickens. No, it's not even that. It's just like I'm not even being entertaining either right now. I'm just, that, that idea of news bugging me out, you know? And he ends the stream like this. I'm gonna go clear my head, bro. Like this is actually bad. Um, and like it's really, really bad, bro. I'm like Loki scared. Oh god. After this, Riot deleted the 18 up channel in his Discord, his VODs, and didn't stream for a while. But he did eventually come back and it's there's more. It's on Daryl's video. Go watch Daryl's video. He proceeds to remove the NSFW channel from his Discord, delete all of his previous stream VODs, and stayed radio silent for a few days. All of this happened a while ago, because I was waiting to see if he would change his content in any way. And uh no, N not at all. One more thing I do want to talk about is in some of this content, we've showed Discord calls and there is a moderator for Riot called Silva. And Silva knows another kick streamer who's maybe equally as bad, if not worse, than Riot. What? There's more? No! Maybe that whole mutually assured destruction thing isn't so bad, guys. Maybe we should, um, I don't know. Maybe we should use the FBI tip line or something like that. Maybe that's what we should do. I don't know. Derek Graz was a kick streamer. This is Derek Graz. You probably haven't heard of him, but he's kick's newest and biggest predator. Who would stream things no one should be allowed to stream. This is the story of how a 20 year old kick streamer went from standard cringe risk content to committing actual sex crimes for content. He's not dead, but he's banned. So he might as well be he might as well be dead. He pushed it too far and got banned off of Kick because of the vile shit he did on stream. The proof of this is revealed on a channel called Streaming Spotlight. It's brand new. It has only one uploaded video. It shows just how disgusting and predatory Derek Graz is. And just how disgusting and predatory he was allowed to be for way too long on Kick. His content seemed pretty simple. He would get a few girls over that consented to be on his streams, but at a certain point it always gets stale and boring. He then started building up what he calls a roster through Snapchat, where most of the girls are unaware their snaps are being shown to thousands of people. Basically, the gist of this is Derek would invite women over to get action while live without the girls knowing he was live. He essentially matches with girls on Tinder and then tries to get them over to his house. Since girls usually wouldn't want to be a part of his streams because of the type of content he does, he needed to start lying to girls in order to get them on stream. The girls needed to not know he was streaming for this to work. If you want to see it, it's pretty crazy. It's insane. He claims he knew the girls and it was not real or whatever, but it just, it's not cool content to make because it's like you're, it's not legal, really. It's kind of illegal. I think Kick should investigate this, especially Kick. It's just their responsibility because they just gave him a contract. He's officially partnered as of March 1st with Kick which is awesome. <laughs> also has a seven day ban as of March 4th. So he officially got partnered and officially got banned a few days later for being a piece of shit. It's so disgusting. I don't even like, I don't like talking about this shit anymore, dude. So I never liked to be like talking about it. I just don't really want to talk about it. I just, you know, let's just get to the most important parts, I guess. The girl that he brought over was nervous about the camera and it being a camera that can record. And he told her it's not, so it's a lie. <laughs> 
was recording or something. The ring light? I'm scared. Oh. No, you have a camera oh. up there. Oh, I just shut off. Oh, so it's on? No, I'm saying the computer's on, obviously. But not oh. the fucking thing, you know? I know. You said what? What are you saying? Also, at this time, Riot Lol is in chat. Epic. Epic win. She thinks the camera's off because he told her that it is. And then she feels comfortable hooking up with him. And then he streams the hookup to his audience live. And then he just tries to play everything off and give himself a reasonable doubt for what he's what he's doing by saying it's a skit or it's scripted or I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna set the camera up. She's she knows I'm it's a skit. It's a it's, it's a script. It's a script. She does she does know I'm streaming. It's a script. It's a skit. Very funny, man. That's so funny, dude. That's such a fun. He's such a funny guy. He also sold nudes for 10 gifted subs to that guy, Silva, the mod for Riot Lol we were talking about. I'll give 10 gifted subs to me right now. All of them. But that is in the call with him, says he will give 10 subscribers on kick if Derek sends those nudes to him right now. As he even shows the stream, Derek has the My Eyes Only section of his Snapchat open, but only so his one viewer in the call with him can see. And as I'm going to show you later, this isn't the only time he's done this. What is crazy to me is Derek isn't even trying to hide it. They both say exactly what they're doing. His viewer says exactly what he's sending 10 gifted subs to pay for, and they both name drop a couple of his ex-girlfriends. Pretty epic, man. So in conclusion, there are some people who need to be eliminated. <laughs> Banned from, eliminated from the online platform. Online platforms like Kick, YouTube, Twitch, etc.